Sophie Turner Katy Perry Among celebrities who suffered brutal breakups, Sophie Turner claims in a lawsuit against Joe Jonas she learned of the pair's divorce through the media, Sophie Turner, Katy Perry and Minnie Driver are among Hollywood stars who claim they learned about their splits in brutal ways. Most recently, Turner alleged in court documents obtained by Fox News Digital she learned about her estranged husband filing for divorce through the media. In a lawsuit filed Thursday, the Game of Thrones actress claimed the end of the couple's four-year marriage happened very suddenly. In a statement to Fox News Digital, Jonas disputed several of the claims made by Turner in her filing. The statement alleges Turner was well aware Jonas was going to file for divorce and says the couple had multiple conversations about it. It also states the Florida court where Jonas filed has already entered an order that restricts both parents from relocating the children. Joe filed for divorce September 5 in Miami-Dade County, Florida. The actress is suing her estranged husband for the immediate return of their children to England. Here's a look at some other A-list stars who have claimed they were blindsided by the end of their relationships. Katy Perry, Russell Brand Katy Perry and Russell Brand first met in 2008 before tying the knot in 2010. Irreconcilable differences were cited for their divorce in 2012. Perry has been outspoken about learning Brand was filing for divorce via text. In 2013, the California Girls singer told Vogue, he's a very smart man, and I was in love with him when I married him. Let's just say I haven't heard from him since he texted me saying he was divorcing me December 31, 2011. I felt a lot of responsibility for it ending, but then I found out the real truth, which I can't necessarily disclose because I keep it locked in my safe for a rainy day, Perry added at the time. I let go, and I was like, this isn't because of me, this is beyond me. So I have moved on from that. Mini Driver, Matt Damon Mini Driver learned of her breakup from Matt Damon when he announced it on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1998. Well, I'm single, Damon said on the show at the time. I was with Minnie for a while, but we're not really romantically involved anymore. We're just really good friends, and I love her dearly. I care about her a lot. We care about each other a lot. It wasn't meant to be, you know. And if it's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. Several months later, Driver addressed Damon's comments during an interview with the Los Angeles Times. It's unfortunate that Matt went on Oprah, it seemed like a good forum for him to announce to the world that we were no longer together, which I found fantastically inappropriate, the actress said at the time. Of course, he was busy declaring his love for me on David Letterman a month previously. Damon was adamant Driver did not learn of their split during his interview with Winfrey. In 2022, Driver told Entertainment Tonight she looks back on her relationship with her Goodwill Hunting co-star with love. That was just a sweet romance that was just a sweet love affair in the center of all of that stuff but had a combustible ending which then became the focus, she told the outlet. Another thing that my parents taught me was there just isn't any time to sit around feeling resentful or angry. Just have to get on and everybody had a beautiful life. Taylor Swift, Joe Jonas Jonas seems to have a track record of brutal breakups. Taylor Swift and Jonas briefly dated in 2008. That same year, Swift was a guest on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and she shared that the Jonas Brothers star dumped her in a 25-second phone call. He broke up with you on the phone. That's not right, DeGeneres told Swift at the time. It's all right, I'm cool, Swift responded. You know what, it's like, when I find that person that is right for me, he'll be wonderful. When I look at that person, I'm not even going to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. Swift and Joe's estranged wife, Turner, are friends and have been spending time together since he filed for divorce. The friends were seen together grabbing some Italian food and partying into the night at Temple Bar in New York City this week. Chris Hell Stas, Justin Hartley Chrishell Stas and Justin Hartley began dating in 2013 before tying the knot in 2017. Selling Sunset, fans quickly fell in love with Stas and Hartley's marriage as she mentioned their relationship in the first season of the Netflix series. Later on the show, 
Stas revealed she learned the This Is Us actor filed for divorce via text message in 2019. He texted me that we were filed, she told her co-star Mary Fitzgerald in an episode of the Netflix show. Forty-five minutes later, the world knew. The following year, Hartley began dating Sophia Pernis, and the couple tied the knot in 2021. On season four of Selling Sunset, Stas addressed her ex-husband's new relationship in a confessional-style sit-down. My ex-husband Justin is remarried to someone I know from back in the day pretty well, and a lot of things made sense after finding that out, Stas said. I wish them the best. You know, I think that it actually, if anything, it felt good to know that. It felt like a little bit of closure, 